Elliott Data Systems, along with its integration teaming partners and with FIPS APL listed components, offers a complete personal identity verification platform in compliance with the National Institute of Standards and Technologies Federal Information Processing 201 requirements of the Homeland Security Presidential Directive 12, a directive mandating a common identification standard for all in federal employees and contractors. On August 27, 2004, the President issued a Homeland Security Presidential Directive calling for a mandatory government-wide standard for secure and reliable forms of identification issued by the federal government to its employees and to the employees of federal contractors. As a result of HSPD 12, government organizations are required to adopt new processes for verifying the identity of employees and contractors, as well as controlling access to secure facilities and information systems. U.S. federal government agencies must issue secure and reliable forms of identification with a multi-finger biometric and digital certificate to millions of employees and contractors. According to the directive, secure and reliable forms of identification means identification that is based on sound criteria for verifying an individual employee's identity, is strongly resistant to identity fraud, tampering, counterfeiting, and terrorist exploitation, uses electronic methods of rapid authentication, and is issued only by providers whose reliability has been established by an official accreditation process. PIV cards are required to have biometric capture and verification. Multiple fingerprints must be scanned and electronically uploaded in the identity program with the encrypted images stored and embedded in the smart chip on the PIV card. This feature will increase security of the card and deter identity theft. During an emergency or disaster response and recovery efforts, several state, multi-state, and federal responders routinely interact. To support this, state credentials need to be interoperable with the federal FRAC system, a trust and authentication model that enables state credentials to interoperate with this federal system must be used. States are required to deploy a public key infrastructure to establish the electronic certificates and share data securely between the systems. This public key infrastructure could logically appear like the sample shown here. Electronic certifications are issued locally and then may be uploaded to a regional and or state key server. The certificates are then shared with other state servers to verify the authenticity of the card. Finally, the data is sent to the federal key server. The FIPS 201 standard from NIST provides the structure needed for federal agencies to realize the critical security vision established in HSPD 12 and specifies smart cards as the device that will be used to implement this vision. FIPS 201 is comprised of Personal Identity Verification 1 which describes the minimum requirements for a system that meets the control and security objectives, and Personal Identity Verification 2, which provides detailed technical specifications to support the control and security objectives in PIV 1 and the details for technical interoperability of PIV cards. Government agencies face the issue of inconsistent and potentially insecure forms of identification that have been used to access federal buildings, information systems, and emergency incidents. The goals and benefits of this new process of creating and issuing PIV cards to government employees and contractors is to enhance security, increase efficiencies within the government, reduce identity fraud, and increase protection of personal privacy. In response to the strict requirements set forth by the federal government, Elliott Data Systems has assembled through its PIV Integration Teaming Business Unit and APL Partners, secure credentialing, card management, and card printing modules, which enable the offering of end-to-end -end support for PIV-1 and PIV-2 business processes, technical requirements, as well as the ability to partner with leading physical and logical access control vendors for logistics and deployment considerations. 
There are four primary parties involved throughout the PIV issuance life cycle. The applicant, the sponsor, registrar, and issuer. When requesting a PIV credential, the PIV applicant is required to provide two forms of identification which must go through a document proofing and authentication process in addition to the enrollment and capture of personal identifiers, including multiple fingerprints and facial image, into the identity management system. The PIV sponsor will then sign and submit the original PIV request and forward to the PIV registration authority to conduct appropriate background checks against federal databases as part of the proofing and vetting process. Upon successful completion, the PIV registrar will notify the PIV issuance authority that an identity credential can be issued to the PIV applicant. Once the PIV issuance authority has confirmed the validity of the PIV request and the PIV applicant has provided the same two forms of identification for verification purposes, the PIV issuance authority will move forward with issuing the PIV card with the appropriate identifiers. There are several types of identifiers, such as biometrics and CHUID, that will be stored on the PIV card to prove the identity of the cardholder for access to federally controlled areas or resources. Therefore, the card management system must support components responsible for identity proofing and registration, card and key issuance, key management, various repositories and applications including PKI, biometrics, and PIN. The production of the PIV smart card will sit alongside the card management system to print visual topology and encode the appropriate identifiers onto the contactless chip that is tamper-proof and secure. PIV cards will be used for logical access to computer networks and physical access control including office buildings and facilities. Several authentication methods can be used for both logical and physical access control, which include passwords, CHUID, and biometric data. Elliott offers a variety of hardware and software solutions that are capable of producing a PIV card with the security features required. A FIPS 201 card has many security features, both displayed on the card and stored in the card's smart chip. On this example, you'll see a full-color photo, watermark, barcode, laminate overlay, and necessary content displayed on the front of the ID badge. The biometric fingerprints, signature, and demographic information are stored securely in the smart chip. The smart chip access control feature allows the cardholder access to government facilities using an APL card reader device. A typical PIV integration platform includes FIPS APL hardware solutions compatible with a PIV card including printers, handheld devices, card readers, fingerprint readers, and access control readers. Elliott and its PIV integration partners provide a complete and interoperable solution with features and functions required throughout the PIV lifecycle enabling users the flexibility to make use of any desired options, such as identity proofing and enrollment, card issuance, maintenance, and access control. This complete integration platform offers the significant benefit that is used throughout the various stages, from establishing an applicant's verified identity, to issuance of smart card-based credentials, to the usage and integration to physical and logical access control systems and incidents. For more information on Elliott's PIV integration platform, contact Elliott Data Systems at 1-888-345-8511 or visit www.elliottmobilesolutions.com to find a certified mobile solutions dealer near you.